like. So this is like the foam. So this this space here is uh, what we're calling the the Eco Innovation Center, and um, part of the reason it has all these wild and crazy shapes uh, is that uh, this will start out being the model and marketing office for the the project, but it'll also uh, there's a wraparound storefront up on the first floor there that goes right out to the sidewalk level, so um, it's an accessible space. Um, and that's going to be the, uh, the business end of, of all these cooperative businesses. We're going to have shared administration, so the network of cooperatively owned businesses will actually have a cooperative um, management and clerical and if there's open desk we can uh, do co-working so somebody can come in and rent by the week a desk space if they're starting their own business or they want to be seed another cooperative business uh, they can rent this space over here is going to be a uh, conference room so they could rent that by the hour um, and this, this is a live workspace, so Carol and I are actually, actually our private living space is up, upstairs. This is the kitchen dining area here. Um, this is the living room over here. Um, even though it's below grade, uh, there are these um, the transom windows at the bottom part of the wraparound storefront that will let light in uh, from above on all three sides. Uh, this is a fireplace in the middle that's actually going to be a charcoal maker. Uh, so we'll uh, start the process with um, methane gas from our methane digester. And then uh, once it uh, heats up, so there will be a barrel uh, that you put wood waste in. and um, once, once that gets heated to the point where it's driving the gas off, then it's, it's plumbed so that, so that the wood gas kicks in and finishes the process. And so you're uh, putting much less um, uh, particulate matter and stuff into the, into the atmosphere. We'll actually have some scrubbers on, this, on the, the stack so that there's very little. And then that charcoal can be used for um, in our water filters and and um, and different different uh, processes uh, and specialty charcoals, uh, you know, for um, making smoke things. Um, and then around the edge there uh, will be fish tanks and. Um, uh, we'll have cold water fish down at this level in the basements um, 
where those uh, the front wall is is insulated and we'll actu actually have some some glass doors to so that we don't have a humidity problem but still get the light in and then that water from those fish tanks will be circulated through uh, green growing walls on the outsides of the buildings and also uh, this will be a green wall right here so it'll have a gutter along the bottom and the water will come out and trickle down um, and this this front face here under this skylight will also be a, a green wall and um, so we'll, we're basically doing hydroponic gardening uh, using the um, fertile water from the from the fish ponds the uh, uh, the plants will clean and aerate the water before it's returned to the fish ponds will grow it won't be just monoculture so um, you know it it may be uh, fish and crayfish and and um, uh, there's actually here in the kitchen there's there's a, a kidney shaped island that'll have a worm bin in the bottom of it so you just um, will have growing tubes that you can pull up into the skylight there and uh, grow your um, uh, salad greens and stuff in the wintertime lower them, lower them down um, use some worm casings to fertilize it and water it pull it back up the leftover scraps can go down the hole in the center of the uh, the island and feed the worms and 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 then right behind that there will be uh, there were some big 450 gallon um, uh, big green uh, tubs that used to be City of St. Louis dumpsters actually round dumpsters uh, we're going to sink one of those in the ground there um, and that'll be the trout pond and it'll have uh, a um, uh, kind of a cascading fountain that that'll be uh, like a constructed wetland that that um, aerates and cleans the water and will be able to grow your watercrest and and um, all that kind of stuff right right here in the in the kitchen as well